Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be doing some MATLAB problems, um, some typical basic kind of warm-up things of when you're getting introduced to MATLAB and how to use it as a tool. Um, so for this first problem here in the upper left, we have um, sides of a triangle and the angle between them. And what we have to do is write a script to find the length of the third side and the area of the triangle. Um, so when you're using MATLAB, um, if you want to make a script, you just go to this new part and write script. And there's this script window here and the command window down here. Um, so you can test to see if your program works by using the command window and write your actual program in the script window up here. So let's define our variables with the given information. A is equal to 4.5 and then we have B is equal to 6. Um, the, the, com, or the semicolon there is a suppressor symbol. Um, now I'm going to define that 35 degrees to be angle C and that will be 35 and I'll just say it's in degrees. Now I'm going to use uh, the law of cosines here, um, but remember if you're making a variable you have to define it as one, so uh, I solved for C using the law of cosines, and to write that in MATLAB you would use the square root, which is SQRT, A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times cosine of the angle. And remember that cosine is in degrees, or the angle's in degrees, so we want to use cosine d for degrees and of that angle. And I'll just mention here in the comments section, uh, law of cosine. And then you can do a display, um, or fprintf, and you could say length of side c is, and then you can use percent %f to display the number you want. I'm just going to make new lines here. New line. And then you put the comma after you end it. So there's, the, there's what will be displayed, what will be printed, comma, and then which variable you want. And I want C to be displayed, the length of that third side. And that's our displaying area. Now we need to solve for the area of the triangle. So solve for area of the triangle. Um, so we could do area is equal to, what's the area of a triangle? Well, one half base times height. And our base, or we could just do this here, times b. But remember, um, we have to do sine of the angle too. Um, but remember, that's in degrees um, to get that um, proper uh, measurements here. Remember, draw this out on a piece of paper. Um, draw the triangle, draw the side so you can actually see what you're doing and use MATLAB as kind of your fancy calculator in solving this problem. And then again we can display our answers here. Um, so area of triangle is percent F. And let's go put new lines just because. And we want to display area. Okay. So that's the variable I've chosen. And that's pretty much it for the first one to see if it works for the first problem. We'll title this problem one. Um, you can run it and see if everything pops out okay. And I gotta save it as something. So I will save it as untitled. See if now we can run the program. And look, it popped out right there. Now if you want your answer to be displayed in certain decimal points, it's really cool. You can do percent %f. You put 0 .0 in front of it, and it'll display um, to the, it'll round it, so that's pretty cool. So that's the first problem, just kind of using MATLAB, and the uh, next one we'll do problem two. All right, now we're going to do the second problem here, and this problem is just kind of using um, pints and gallons and liters, so just kind of unit conversion here. Um, so we have 8 pints in a gallon and 1.76 pints in a liter. The volume of the tank is given at 2 gallons and 4 pints. Write a script which enables or which inputs the volume in tanks and pints and converts it to liters. So uh, like you always do, uh, write down that given information. And I'm just going to call this number of gallons. And that's 2. And we got number of pints equals 4. You can make it as complicated as a uh, variable or as simple as you want. You could make this A and B or G and P. Um, I'm just going to show this for clarity here. Um, and now we got to convert it, right? So gallons to pints. And what would that be? Well, number of gallons 
times 8, right? Because there are 8, or you multiply it by 8 to get the number of pints. Then, if you want to do total pints, um, you would do the gallons to pints, which was that conversion, plus the number of pints. So I'm putting everything in pints here. And then, one thing you could do to find the total liters um, is to divide by that given information there is 1.76 pints in a liter. Um, so you get total liters equals to the total pints divided by 1.76, which is given. And then you can display your information here by using f print f and you can say volume of tank in liters is percent f to display a variable. Um, I'm just going to round it to uh, 0 0.0. One and then F, and that just is a, used for rounding. And comma here, total liters is what we want to display, and uh, we'll see if that runs here. Boom, eleven point four liters. Flame of tanks in liters is eleven point four. That's pretty cool. All right.